Hello, my name is Adam Hughes. Today we're going to be looking at uh, SolidWorks, SolidWorks Composer, and how you might transition from the trial of, say, Composer to the full-fledged version of Composer if you don't have SolidWorks, right? So it's very typical that when you initially uh, request a trial of SolidWorks Composer, they will also pair it with a seed of SolidWorks just to make things easy. Now let me go ahead and show you um, exactly why that makes it easier, I suppose, so that you have information on both sides of the fence. And we'll cycle back to Composer and talk about what you need to do uh, in order to get Composer working correctly. So here I have a uh, simple ball valve in SolidWorks. And the really neat thing about this is that if I go to File and I select Save As, that I can choose to save this as a SolidWorks Composer document, .smg. Now when I select SMG, you'll notice that all the Composer import settings are correct too by selecting Options. You can see that the import, the default import on an SMG option, in this case is going to show up with custom, but you have your SOLIDWORKS default and SOLIDWORKS with surfaces. Now it just so happens that my custom is the same as SOLIDWORKS default with the same checkboxes on. That's the way I have mine set up so that I always import correctly. But this is super convenient. Um, also, when you're when you're trekking through the file save as from the SOLIDWORKS side of things, you'll notice that like export bomb, assembly envelope appearance, and explode views are automatically included in um, on the save. This is the same information you essentially see inside of Composer, but you're doing it while you have the part loaded up in SOLIDWORKS. No need to load it up again. So this is highly, highly convenient, um, especially as, as the trial goes, right? Now, uh, this will only be available if you go to your add-ons inside of SOLIDWORKS and make sure that SOLIDWORKS Composer is checked on, okay? Now, transitioning back into Composer here, the same functionality, of course, exists, except it's, it's you know, you just open, open up a new project. Um, we'll select a file um, like this Power Painter model. And here we can select the import options, but now we see the additional import options that Composer can handle. I just PTC, um, again, your SOLIDWORKS and your STEP, the same checkboxes, and you still have the same SOLIDWORKS options. They're just found in a different area. So you've maybe worked through the trial and now you're ready and you've purchased SOLIDWORKS Composer and you're happy as a camper, but you really don't need SOLIDWORKS, right? There's no reason for you to have SOLIDWORKS. You're just writing technical manuals. You're telling your story. You're creating technical documentation, maintenance documentation, whatever it might be. So, you know, either you or your company chooses not to install SOLIDWORKS Composer on your machine. Well, this might be a small hiccup in that uh, when you initially installed Composer, you installed it with SOLIDWORKS. So it's assuming that SOLIDWORKS is your, that you have SOLIDWORKS on your computer and that, uh, you know, the the um, SOLIDWORKS version, it's under auto detect, but I can select like 2021. Auto detect's the right way to have it selected, in my opinion. But in this case, like Composer knows to look for SOLIDWORKS 2021 application on my system and then launches that and then opens everything up and so on. So now how this is different is that if this is selected and you no longer have SOLIDWORKS, you're going to have a problem. It's not going to be able to translate those SOLIDWORKS assemblies or SOLIDWORKS part files into the Composer SMG format, which is why auto detect is the right way to go here. But there's also one other thing you, you would need to install once you've removed SOLIDWORKS. So this is again, just entertaining the idea that you only have SOLIDWORKS Composer installed in your machine and nothing else, no SOLIDWORKS CAD design engineering tools. So for that, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go to our um, uninstall and we're going to modify our installation. And we're going to select the modify button here. We'll click next. And you might choose to plug in your um, composer serial number, right? By checking on this checkbox and then typing in the composer serial number here. Um, in fact, that's probably what you would have to do if you just had a SOLIDWORKS Composer license. Um, so, so then you click Next. Um, after I uncheck that, click Next. If you make a wrong click there, it'll let you know for sure, which is always nice. And what we're looking here for, uh, what we're looking is the SOLIDWORKS translator. All right, so if we expand SOLIDWORKS Composer 
I have SOLIDWORKS Composer installed, I have the player installed, but there's no SOLIDWORKS Composer Translator. So what you have to do to get this Translator button open is uncheck the SOLIDWORKS install and essentially remove SOLIDWORKS, right, from your uh, installation. And then you can check on SOLIDWORKS Translator. So this is that pseudo version of SOLIDWORKS that launches in the background that allows you to take an assembly file or a part file and, uh, you know, transfer it uh, uh, to the .smg format, right? Import it into that .smg format. So this is the importer slash translator for those folks who just have Composer installed on their machine. This is absolutely necessary for you to have this um, if you do not have SOLIDWORKS. So if you're running Composer and you no longer have SOLIDWORKS or you're, or you're just a Composer user and you don't have SOLIDWORKS installed or you got the trial and it came with a seat of SOLIDWORKS, uninstall SOLIDWORKS, uncheck it from this menu, turn on translator, and then hit next, 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 install, and you should be good to go. Okay. The This will require a restart, right? So you will have to restart your computer after this um, is finished. And you're going to want to check one more thing. The last thing you're going to check is under Composer, under File Preferences. You're going to want to make sure that this says Auto Detect. And it doesn't say a version of SOLIDWORKS if you previously had SOLIDWORKS installed. So auto detect and install that translator and you should be good to go. Hopefully this is helpful and hopefully you're creating some really awesome content with Composer. Hey, and if you do have some really cool content with Composer and you've published it to YouTube or something or some sort of link you can share, feel free to throw that in the comments. I'd, I'd love to look at what you guys are doing, um, well, how people are using Composer. It's a lot of fun, really great tool. And I hope you found this guys this helpful, guys. My name's Adam Hughes with Go Engineer. Thanks for watching.